Hey coffee lovers, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com, and today I'm here with the Rocket Apartamento and the Nuova Simonelli Musica espresso machines. Gonna be comparing and contrasting the two, going over the key features and specs, showing you them both in action, and then helping you decide which machine is right for you. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start off going over the specs of each machine, starting with the Rocket Apartamento. This is a heat exchange boiler system coming in at 1.8 liters on that boiler. It's got a removable reservoir in the back that is 2.25 liters. We've got your 58 millimeter E61 group head, which is really great for keeping it nice and heated and giving you even extraction. This machine does have a built-in pre-infusion and also comes with a gauge down below to monitor that pressure within your boiler. On the two sides here, we have those two valves, the steaming valve and the hot water valve, which are really nice and have these really great twist on and off mechanisms, which gives you a really nice tactile experience. In addition to this manual brew lever, which is really fun to pull up and down. Down below here, we do have this removable drip tray. Although small, kind of a really nice build quality and has a nice magnetic clip in the back. Up above here, we do have this really nice, really hot uh, cup warmer, which is really nice for keeping your vessels warm before brewing. This machine runs 1200 watts at 120 volts. Another thing worth noting is that this steam wand is also anti-burn technology. And while it still gets pretty hot, it'll help you keep it a little bit cooler when trying to wipe it down. This machine also has an OPV installed over pressure valve, which just helps you ensure that you don't exceed a certain amount of pressure when brewing. The rocket is 14 inches tall, 10 and a half inches wide and 17 inches deep and comes in at 45 pounds. So something you'll notice here, although the weight to the Musica is exactly the same, the size is quite a bit different. With the Musica coming in at 17 inches tall, quite a bit bigger. If you're putting it on a counter, you might want to keep that in mind. 13 inches wide and 16 inches deep. This machine runs 1300 watts at 110 volts, so not too much difference between the two. Also has that 58 millimeter group head and has thermocompensated technology to also ensure you're constantly getting warm water in there before you brew. So the Musica is also a copper heat exchange boiler, though this one is two liters and insulated, while the Rocket is 1.8 liters and not insulated. Just a bit of a difference there. The Musica operates off a vibratory pump as well as the Rocket, so there won't be much difference there. And I will say both of them are pretty quiet. So the major difference with the Musica is that it does offer volume metrics and a more automated system for operating. You can enter into a programming mode here to program your pre-infusion, volume metrics, water dosing, and many more great features, which is something I really enjoy about the Musica. On the sides over here, we do have the steam wand and the hot water valves, similar to the Rocket, though the major difference being that the steam wand here has a four hole tip and gives a lot more pressure than the Rocket does. And this hot water valve is programmable via time. There's also this nice manual on and off brew button, which is very helpful. Up top here, we have the nice cup warmer, same as the Rocket. Down below here, we have this nice removable drip tray, quite a bit larger than the Rockets. And we also have a pressure gauge, similar to the Rockets, where it monitors your boiler pressure and tells you when it's ready to brew. So let's go over a few key differences between these two machines. The major one being that the Rocket is gonna be a bit more of a manual machine and the Musica is gonna be a bit more of an automatic volumetric machine. So each has its pros and cons. The Rocket being really nice because it has these really nice tactile experiences to it and the Musica being really nice because you can simply do a one touch brew and have it extract to the volume you would like out. In terms of those water reservoirs, let's show you those on the Rocket 2.25. Kind of a bit hard to get out of there, but once you do, nice and easy to fill and also clean out. Snaps back into place. 
and the Musica being this lift up in the back here pops out nice and easy a little bit larger with the three liters and very easy to reach your hand in and clean out as well snaps back in here and is also worth mentioning that this version can be direct plumbed in terms of powering these two machines on the rocket is a switch right on the side here and it begins to fill up that boiler. And the Musica has a switch on the back here that you power on and then you press the power button here which lights up, illuminates your machine and begins filling your boiler. To flip that off, simply hold it down again and then your machine is off and you can choose to power it down with the switch on the back as well. I think a notable difference between these two machines is the steam wands here. Though they both are articulating and have a wide range of motion, there are a few differences. The Musica has this competition grade tip with the four holes and delivers quite a bit more power than the Rocket, which has a two hole tip and delivers a little bit less power. Though the Rocket does have the insulated steam wand, which is really nice for keeping it a bit cooler than the Musica. On the side here, the difference with the hot water being that this is a manual hot water that you control with your hand. And this is a button here that you press and then let go and the water will just fill itself, though you can program it in that programming mode. A big difference between these two is the drip tray on the Musica is going to be much larger and it is quite nice that everything is housed nicely within the drip tray and won't be leaking anywhere whereas the rocket sometimes you need to move things to the side things will be kind of spilling over the edge so you're constantly kind of wiping it up a bit of a trade-off for this nice compact design. I will say both of these machines do have a nice pre-infusion with the Musica you being able to fine tune that a little bit more and the rocket whereas you can control that with your hand lifting it up slowly bringing it up to full pressure. Though both of these machines pull amazing and consistent shots, they are quite different in their operation with the Musica being a bit more automatic yet programmable and the Rocket being a bit more manual and hands-on. All right, so now I'd like to give you a demonstration pulling some shots, showing you the steam wands, the water valves, etc. And then after that, we'll check back in to go over the pros and cons, help you decide if this is the right machine for you. All right, so now we're gonna pull a shot of espresso on both machines. Both machines heat up from cold fairly quickly. The Musica has both the pressure gauge and also this monitor up top, which just flipped off to tell us it's ready to brew, in addition to this water indicator that tells you when your reservoir is low. All right, so for both machines, I'm gonna be using 18 grams of an Ethiopian light roast coffee in, pulling for 30 seconds, and we're gonna see what the output is on each machine. Starting with the Musica, which has a five second pre-infusion that I programmed. Grabbing our cup, setting our timer. Both these machines having those nice cup warmers, so my cup was already nice and warm. We're gonna purge this for just a second. Make sure it's ready to brew. Our heat button is off, that means our boiler is ready. And here we go. Starting our timer. There's that pre-infusion in action. Ramping up to full pressure. Really beautiful crema developing. And stopping that at 30 seconds. Pretty quiet vibratory pump as well. We got exactly 36 grams out of that one. And I'll just give you a little view of what that looks like. All right, moving over to our Rocket Apartamento now, which has this light over on the side here that shows you when it's on. And it also flashes to show you when the reservoir needs refilled. Otherwise, I refer to the gauge right here to see when it's between 1 and 1.5 in the green zone, it's ready to brew. So let's get that shot ready, purge that. And you'll notice with this one, one, the solenoid valve, which is really fun. You can watch it uh, expel the water after brewing. And two, it has this sort of halfway pre-infusion point here that just gives you a bit of extra 
pre-infusion right before you ramp up to full pressure. All right, so once again here, we have my 18 grams of my light roast Ethiopian coffee. Gonna just purge out that group head for just a moment. Have my nice warm cup, get that all teared out. And let's get ready to brew. Starting my timer, starting this pre-infusion. Just a few seconds and up to full pressure now. Very, very quiet vibratory pump. Might actually be a bit quieter than Musica's. Stopping that at the 30 second mark. Let's see what we got. We got just about 41 grams out. So pretty similar results from the two. Another beautiful looking shot here with that nice, nice crema. And both very quiet, very efficient machines. And with those uh, heat uh, compensated technologies, they'll both give you consistent results. And both two shots did taste amazing, just to confirm that for you. All right, so let's show you the two other features on the Musica, the programmable water dosing button, which is really nice, but does tend to spray a little bit, just like that, but is still a very nice feature. And our steam wand over here, Really powerful with that competition grade four hole steam tip. A little bit of a leeway here when lifting up the lever, you can kind of go soft all the way up to full pressure there. All right, so let's show you the hot water feature on the Apartamento. And one kind of downside is a design flaw here. It kind of knocks into the uh, manual brew valve, but let's maneuver that over. All right, here's that water feature for you. Really nice, doesn't spray around too much. We'll show you that on the side over here as well. Really nice, really quick, great manual option. And over here, your steam on. Slightly less power than the Musica. but still a great amount of power. And this insulated technology does keep it a little bit cooler, which is nice. And you'll see the two holes on the bottom there. So that's the hot water and the steam features from the Rocket Apartamento. All right, so now that we've seen what both of these machines can do, let's help you decide which machine is gonna be the best for you. Basically, we can break this down to what I mentioned before. Do you prefer a more manual, tactile experience with this really great classic design? Or do you prefer more of an automatic, volumetric-based system that you yourself can fine-tune within the programming mode to set your own recipes? The compact, beautiful design of the rocket being a bit of a trade-off for some of the more functional aspects of it that don't work quite as well in theory as they do in design. And the Musica being a lot larger, giving you a lot more space to work with down here, though you need to consider its size when considering your space. Another major difference here being that the Rocket Apartamento is only a reservoir machine, whereas the Musica offers a reservoir and a direct plumb version. So realistically, the Musica being a better option for higher volume use and the Rocket being more of a classic staple piece that will give you nice consistent shots, but not a ton of volume. Both of these machines offer the excellent steaming capacity, the Musica being a bit faster, which can be a pro and also can be a con because sometimes it is super fast. If you're trying to steam a macchiato, it might be a little difficult, whereas the Rocket, you do have a little bit more time to incorporate your mistakes and make sure you get that great microphone. Both these group heads being 58 millimeters, they're easily swapped out for bottomless portafilters and they both pull really nice shots. Both of them have a thermal compensated technology to help make sure that you get the best brew each time. With the Rocket using the classic E61 design and the Nuova using their own thermal compensated system, which works quite well. 
Down below here, when you brew, you will notice there is the solenoid that purges water. There is the same thing in the Musica, though you just can't see it. Another similarity between the two is that they both have the OPV over pressure valve, with both of them being easily accessible so you can fine tune your results and make sure you get the right pressure out. Both of these machines are beautiful with the stainless steel finish and come in a few different options as well. The Musica coming in this black and also an LED lined side panel version, which is really nice and looks very futuristic and cool, as well as this rocket coming in this really nice stainless steel with this great design on the side, which comes in white or copper. Overall, I really enjoy both of these machines and some days I'm more of a Musica person because I want the ease and programmability. Other days I'm more of a Rocket person because I really want to get hands on with my brew. So truly these are both fantastic prosumer espresso machines and it's up to you to decide which is better for you. I hope that this video has helped you out today and given you some insight on which of these machines will be best for you. If you liked what you saw, please like our video, comment any questions you may have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links for both of these machines will be in the description below, and after you're done, you can head over to MajestyCoffee.com to get some of the best deals in the industry on these machines and many more. Our customer support team is standing by to help you via live chat or phone, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for joining.